Here we go. Freddie Abden. Hey, Neil. Hey, Chuck. My name is Freddie Abden, an American living in Perilla, Colombia. But what's the name of the town? Perilla. I don't know that town. I don't either. S spell it. Bad Maybe I do know it if you pronounced it right. P-E-R. E I R A. Perilla. 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 Okay. E it's E I R A. That sounds Portuguese. E I R A. Yeah. Perilla. Portuguese, Colombia. they put the E in front of the I. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where the best coffee is grown. Ooh. That's right. Colombian coffee. That's right. Colombian coffee. We used to get those TV commercials. Better known as cocaine. <laughs> Stop. Uh, the second law of thermodynamics says entropy must increase. Uh, yet, for a surprisingly long stretch, Earth maintained extraordinary order and complexity, enabling life to thrive in stark contrast to the decay and disorder we observed elsewhere in the cosmos. That should not have happened, statistically speaking. What could explain that rare pause in entropy, that bubble of low chaos? Could you, it point you Captain to Captain Kirk? <laughs> <laughs> what could have explained? <laughs> <laughs> Could it point to the unique initial conditions or maybe even some odd influence beyond our natural forces? Religious people who know only some physics, but not enough, enough physics, <laughs> know about the second law of thermodynamics that everything proceeds to chaos. Correct. That's a, that's a, is a simplification. But basically, it goes from order to disorder. Okay. Okay. And Earth goes from disorder to now we have like life. We can't get more complicated than life. Right. So they wanted to invoke that as a reason for not that physics didn't work, but that the hand of God operated. Intervened. Intervened here. Right. Reversing what would otherwise be the trend that we see everywhere else in the universe. Mm -hmm. So it was not a statement of physics not working. It's a statement of the handiwork of God. And what is a miracle if not the suspension of the laws of physics? The proper way to say the second law of thermodynamics okay. is okay. for any closed system, mm. the system will move to disorder. Right. Inexorably. We're not a closed system. We are open to the universe. We're open to sunlight. Right. We're, we're bathed in sunlight. That is energy entering, entering our, our system. system. Okay? Right. So if you have net energy flow into a system, okay. then it's not a closed system. All right. So now, but you got to rob Peter to pay Paul. If our entropy is going down, mm -hmm. life is, is lower entropy than what was there before, somebody's entropy had to go up. Really? The sun. Oh, the sun, the is, sun dying. is dying. Yes, it is. So that we might have life. <laughs> A different kind of sun <laughs> giving up life that we might live. Oh, I see what you did there. You see what I, did That's, there? I see what you yeah, did there. Was, yeah. So the sun will die. Right. And then when the sun dies, nothing is bolstered after that. Right. And then the whole, whole system, system goes, goes to entropy. Yeah. That's, look at now, that. Now, a quick little aside in our whole of the universe, right? We have a completely enclosed sphere glass sphere that has water and three life forms in it. Why would you do that? <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that is just no. awful. It's, okay. <laughs> yes, they're, they're sealed in this cavity. Oh, my okay? God. All right. And so do we have three life forms? There's krill. Like okay. really tiny krill. Like the yeah, little shrimpy things. Little shrimpy things. Oh, yeah. We have snails. Oh, yeah. And we have something like kelp. Like oh, an okay. like like underwater a plant. Yeah. Plant, planty thing. Plant, plant. That creates a complete ecosystem. Mm. Okay. So the the krill poops, the snails, snails eat, eat, the, eat the poop. Right. The thing, okay. And then that fertilizes the kelp. Get the kelp. And the sunlight the... comes in and helps the kelp. Exactly. And then the a exactly. it's full circle. Oh, so you noticed. It's not a completely closed system. Right. Because it's made of transparent glass. Right. So sunlight gets in. It, okay, so now, here's the story. When we were building the Rose Center for Earth and Space in the year 1999, because we opened January 1st, 2000, 
um, there was a lot of construction dust. They finally moved that into place. There's construction dust. So the oh construction God. people said, oh, no. we clearly have to protect this sphere of glass. Up came the tarp. Uh, uh, poor, poor Snaily. <laughs> no, well, the plant. Yeah, I mean, it. it this, so fortunately, clear heads caught it. I mean, this, you can't blame the construction workers. I mean, they're not astrobiologists, yeah. okay? They weren't looking at that like, guys, I know it looks like a closed system, but it isn't, <laughs> okay? We got a lot of sunlight in. We need photosynthesis for the kelp. And uh, the two life forms actually uh, will, uh, are, are, they're all three life forms and they're dependent upon each other. So, yeah. Uh, so, I, I, it was, I, I forgot how long, it was a few days, but there, you picked it up and there were a few belly up krill. In there. Oh. But they reestablished their equilibrium and they're still going. They're still going. After 25 years. In that in that seemingly closed seemingly system. Seemingly closed system. In that seemingly closed Correct. system. It is living off of the sun. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right. I love that. That was a great little lesson in entropy. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicholas Hayes. Hello, Neil. Oh, oh one other thing Go about ahead. entropy. Go ahead. Okay. You're alive. Right. Right. You, well, you, we you, <laughs> okay. Sometimes you uh, right now you are consuming energy uh, for being alive. For being alive, where the energy come from? Um, I'm gonna say Jesus. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that, the very Southern Baptist. But that's the only way. Yeah. Well, Je no, I mean, um, I ate food. And you ate food. I period. Ate food. People say they look at food and they say the calorie count is something bad. Yeah. The calories is the energy, energy that you're using. Right. Do you know what the word for energy is in French? No. Calorie. Cal <laughs> <laughs> but the goes. <laughs> okay. So when you die, you stop eating. Right. Well, there's there's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You don't choose to yeah, stop you eating. Yeah, when you die. I see too many corpses. Like God, I am <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> man, <laughs> hey, why don't you eat? Why don't you, what are you doing, man? You not taking care of yourself? You're just no, you're sorry, I said it back. I'm sorry, I said it the wrong way. Um, so, but when you're dead, there's no more metabolism in you, right? Okay, and you begin to decay, right? You become disorder. You, you're moving to entropy. Yes, right. There it is. Yeah. Because you, you, you are now a closed system. Right. See, as long as you got a pie hole to <laughs> shove food into, you're not a closed system. Very cool. <laughs> yeah.